Hello, hello, Mordi Mers here and welcome to another part of the chess for beginners. But this time I'm going to show you something more than for the beginners. I think a lot of advanced players can benefit from this video uh, as well. Uh, I'm going to show you how to deliver the checkmate with two bishops. So first thing first, uh, at the beginning of the game, of course, we have the, the light square bishop, dark square bishop. Uh, so only if we do some under promotion, that's possible that we're going to have, for example, two light square bishops and we are not interested uh, in this case we cannot of course um, deliver the checkmate but with the opposite colors bishops of course this is possible now I'm gonna show you the method which is very very easy to remember at the first it can be a little bit counter logical however it works as a charm so I was a little bit suspicious but this method is is just amazing so without further ado let's jump uh, onto the board so first step we would like to do is control the central squares with the bishops so first thing um, first if you check any course and uh, then usually you want to do that with the king so you want to push the king from the center with your own king you have to you want to gain the space but in this method you want to set up your bishops um, on the longest diagonal so how to do that this bishop has to be on um, this diagonal of course uh, and this bishop has to be on this diagonal as you see the king is blocking so uh, it's not that the easiest position ever uh, first what we want to do is bring the bishop to this diagonal uh, so that's the uh, part of the first step and now it doesn't really matter where the king goes uh, if the king uh, want to harass the bishop we just move the bishop everything is, is fine here uh, the king goes to the center of course uh, the king uh, opposite color uh, king wants to always go to the center as it can be uh, checkmated only on the edge or in the corner and we're gonna um, deliver the checkmate to the corner because it's the easiest way to deliver the checkmate uh, and now once this is done we set up these two bishops um, together as you already see uh, they control a lot of squares around so the king has not many squares to go actually and the king also controls in this case um, this square doesn't really matter uh, the king has to move from the center let's say here and now bishop e5 so we have this bishop on this diagonal this bishop on this diagonal uh, and it's pretty pretty uh, logical now because this bishop controls these squares and this bishop controls this square so the king cannot get to the center uh, you see that already we have king c4 maybe the king would like to go here but what we want to do in the second step is bring both of the bishop to the center because once the bishops are uh, in the center they cannot be approached by the king uh, they can be approached only from this side or this side but it's not even possible once they are in opposition to the to the king because look what they control they control all of the squares and the king cannot attack the bishops from the from the flank so now it's completely safe for the white pieces uh, to move the king uh, now where to move the king this is the third step and the king we want to move the king to this square or this square it doesn't really matter because everything is symmetrical of course uh, and let's just do it so this is another step and uh, the king stays um, as close to the center as possible we just follow and now this is not possible so we have to just make a waiting move it doesn't really matter uh, and finally we got this position now um, we achieved that and what we want to do because uh, for now the king stays in this uh, area uh, there is the area where uh, the king has only 12 squares to move now once we bring the bishops only one square uh, toward the king then that that area gonna be only six squares and once we do it again that's gonna be only two squares so this is what we are doing pretty logical i saw a lot of courses where we have to remember this and that and those but but this is simple for me at least this is simple so okay now the king has only uh, three moves and it doesn't really matter where the king moves because the light squares are controlled by the 
by the king and the light square bishop in this in this case uh, and this black square uh is going to be controlled by another bishop so it doesn't really matter where the king goes uh it can go wherever uh, we bring the bishop to the d6 square here uh this bishop control this square all of this you see there is the wall and the king stays already uh in this very very uh, little area so let's say king b5 uh, and now bishop d5 so we just achieve what just uh, what i just show you in the center uh, and now we have the king uh, in this little area where there are only six squares uh, and of course the king want to want to come to c4 and it's gonna happen in the next move because the king has to move doesn't really matter where let's say king b6 uh, and then we just bring the king now uh the king of course want to go uh, as far from the corner as possible uh and now what we want to do uh because as king already uh, control all of these squares uh, and this bishop control also this square we want to control this square okay it's not controlled by the uh, by the white pieces so we just deliver the check and here uh where you just have to remember or maybe not remember uh two different options the king can go to the to the this corner or to the this corner it doesn't really matter where uh if a uh, king a4 this is the even further uh it looks like more difficult but it's actually easier and the reason is that we just follow bishop c6 the the bishops bishops from hell they actually uh, are located on adjacent square and they control adjacent diagonals as well so the king has only one way to go so the king has to go to the to the corner uh, the king just follows uh, again we cannot go back so uh, the king just follows and this is the place where we want to set up our king okay uh, if the king goes to another um, corner then we want to bring uh, the king to this square uh, otherwise to this square so that doesn't really matter uh, just don't go to the to the adjacent uh, line with the king once the king is on the edge just stay two squares from the king because you always want to control as many squares as possible and now uh, it doesn't really matter what the king goes where the king goes king a3 uh, and of course we have the checkmate so pretty pretty easy this is the easiest method uh, I, I could actually uh, find uh, king a6 is a little bit more tricky uh, we can of course bring the king straight over there uh, or we can first uh, set up these bishops and uh, bring the king around over there so both of the options are possible uh, much faster is uh, bring the king I will show you that at the end uh, first let's just follow um, the logic which we just which I just teach you uh we just set up this uh this cage for the king and king has only two squares to move uh, and now there is the trick of course we cannot bring the king to b5 so don't make this formation anymore we need it this only until the king is on the on the edge once the king is on the edge we don't do that this would be disaster that would be the stalemate so we don't do that uh we just bring the king this way and we deliver the checkmate this way okay so that's the that's the way we're gonna do that uh, and here what we want to do is um first cut the king uh look at the bishop the bishop controls um the square a6 and doesn't control the corner anymore so the king goes over there and now we don't bring the bishop here because that would be the stalemate of course but rather make the waiting move so we want this king actually to come back because we want to deliver the check uh, and then checkmate in the next move so wherever we go on this diagonal uh it's fine uh of course except the the, the b eight square that's obvious um and then uh we just deliver one check and then it's gonna be checkmated so uh yeah that's the one way or we can bring the king 
to the c7 and do the same. Now, the reason for that is that these bishops uh, already control all of the squares around and together with the king and with this bishop um, control all of these uh, squares or even this square uh, that the king has nowhere to go. So we have time to actually uh, bring the king over there. So this is the fastest method here, which you don't need to even remember because you can go uh, with the king around. Uh, but this is much faster. You just bring the king here uh, and now uh, you deliver the check. So you check this bishop, remember, uh, always controls this square. Uh, the, the king has to go and look at this. This bishop was controlling the corner. Now we have these two squares. So again, this is the box uh, where the king has to stay there. So all we have to do is make the space for, for this bishop. So let's say bishop f4. There is only one move uh, and the same way uh, we deliver the checkmate so it's a completely the easiest possible method i could find um, and yeah i hope you like it if you like it press like i, I love this method a lot and um, if you don't like it just press unlike and if you don't want to miss other the very very uh, simple and effective methods press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one